In this video, we're going to have a look at sums of series and how to get closed expressions for sums of series. So the first thing we're going to look at, looking at this question here, it says find the sum between r equals 1 and n of r squared times r minus 1, expressing your answer in a fully factorised form. Now these are a quite common type of question and there's not many twists that can really throw in there, so it's a pretty standard method all the way through. But what we've got here from the formula book is these two formulae here. So the sum of r squared between 1 and n is that. The sum of r cubed between 1 and n is that there. The one that's not given, that you do need to know, is the sum of r between r equals 1 and n is equal to half n, n plus 1. And you do need to remember that one. Okay, so let's have a look at the question here. It says find that sum there. But what we can do there is multiply out the expression to be r cubed take r squared. And if we separate that out, that's the same as the sum between r equals 1 and n of r cubed take away the sum between r equals 1 and n of r squared, both of which here we have closed formulae for. By closed, I mean just an nth term. So now we've got the formula for all of the sum of n cubed. So that becomes, so it's equal to a quarter n squared, n plus 1 squared. I'm going to take the formula for uh, r squared, the sum of all the r squareds, take a sixth n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1. Now the trick here is the factorisation. The trap that you could fall into is trying to multiply it all out and refactorize, but there's actually no need here because both expressions have both an n as a factor and an n plus 1, like that. So I've taken an n from there, an n plus 1 from there. We can see that there's an n there and an n plus 1 there. So they all have at least that in common. Okay, so that becomes a quarter n, n plus 1. Take a sixth. And we've already got the n, n plus 1 factorised out. So that just becomes a sixth, 2n plus 1. And it's now going to help to get both of these fractions, a quarter and a sixth, with a common denominator. Well, a quarter and a sixth both go into a twelfth. So equals n, n plus 1. And a quarter is three twelfths, n, n plus 1. Take, and a sixth is two twelfths of 2n plus 1. And now we can take out a factor of a twelfth. So equals a twelfth n n plus 1. So take a twelfth out and take the front. So that becomes 3n n plus 1. Take 2 bracket 2n plus 1. And we can see that these are. this is going to give us a quadratic which is easier to factorise than the original cubic, or in fact quartic, that we were going to get. So that becomes a half n, n plus 1, bracket 3n squared plus 3n, take 4n, take 2, equals a twelfth n, n plus 1 bracket we've got 3n squared take n take 2 we'll try and factorize that quadratic the 3n squared take n take 2 so that becomes a 12th n n plus 1 i'll go for a 3n there and an n there so if we take 1 and add 2, that factorises it. 
So we get we get three n squared. Take n, take two. So there it is. There we've fully factorised it. So we've fulfilled the marking criteria for the question. It asked us to do this in a fully factorised form, and that's exactly what we've done. So that's a relatively straightforward example. And now I want to look at an example that's not as straightforward. So it says show that that sum there is equal to 3 quarters n squared, n plus 1, 5n plus 1. But here the twist is that the subscripts aren't 1 to n. They're now from n to 2n. So part 1, what we're going to have to do first is the sum of the first two n terms. That gets us all the, uh, all the terms added together from r equals 1 to 2n. But we don't want r equals 1 to 2n. We want to take away the first n minus 1 terms. So that's what we're going to have to calculate. So that's all the terms from 1 to 2n. And take away all the terms from 1 to n minus 1. Okay, so that's equals... And thinking back to our formula from before, there they are there. And remember, this one's not given, but these two are. We can just sub in 2n to this formula here and n minus 1 to this formula here to give the closed form that we want. So I'll rub that equal sign out. I'll start in a new line just so I don't run out of room. Equals the sum of 2n. So a quarter of 2n squared, 2n plus 1 squared, take, I'm going to substitute n minus 1 for n in this case, take away a quarter of n minus 1 squared, n squared, so we'll replace the n's with n minus 1's, okay, equals a quarter times 4n squared times 2n plus 1 squared take away a quarter n squared n minus 1 squared so simplifying that I can see that that quarter turns that 4 into 1 when multiplied by it so now both terms have a factor of n squared in common there's the n squared there, there's the n squared there. So n squared, and the first n squared is times by 2n plus 1 squared. And there's a subtraction, and the second n squared is multiplied by a quarter, n minus 1 squared. So now I'm going to take out a factor of a quarter. I'm going to force a quarter out of that bracket. So I get a quarter n squared. And now that 2n plus 1 squared is multiplied by 4. So we had 1 2 s, 2n plus 1 squared there. A quarter times 4 of them is still 1 lot of 2n plus 1 squared. Take away n minus 1 squared. Getting closer to the answer equals a quarter n squared. And now we're going to multiply out the brackets. 4 lots of 4n squared plus 4n plus 1. Take n squared minus 2n plus 1. Close the bracket. Equals a quarter n squared. 16n squared plus 16n plus 4 take n squared plus 2n take 1 which is equal to a quarter n squared now 16n squared take n squared is 15n squared 16n plus 2n is 18n and then 4 take 1 is 3. 
So I can say I can take a factor of 3 out of that bracket. So taking 3 out as a factor, that equals 3 quarters, n squared, 5n squared, plus 6n, plus 1. And then factorising the quadratic bracket, 3 quarters n squared, 5n and n. Both numbers have to be 1s. And I can see all the signs are plus, so they have to be both pluses. And now for part 2. Just remind ourselves of what it was. There it is there. Hence find that there. So the sum between n and 2n. So the r times r squared minus 2. Well that's equal to the sum between r equals n and 2n. Now I multiply the bracket out. I get r cubed minus 2r equals the sum between r equals n and 2n of r cubed take away two lots of the sum between 2n and r equals n of just r. So we already know this bit here. This bit we've already got in a previous part. So let's just concentrate on this bit that I've highlighted blue here. The sum between n and 2n of just r. So remember, we're expected to remember the result for the sum of r. That's it there. A half n, n plus 1. So the sum between r equals n and 2n of r equals s2n take away sn minus 1 equals, well s of 2n is a half and we'll replace n with 2n. So half n, n plus 1 which becomes a half 2n. 2n plus 1, when we replace n with 2n, take a half n minus 1, n, like that. So I can see here now, that half and the 2 cancel each other out. So that becomes n, 2n plus 1, take a half n, n minus 1. And if we factorise that, we can see that there's an n on the outside. So the first n is multiplied by 2n plus 1. Then the second n is multiplied by minus a half n minus 1. Equals, now taking out the factor of a half to the outside, a half n and that becomes 4n plus 2 because a half of 4n is 2n a half of 2 is 1 then there's a take we've already got the factor of a half taken out now so it just becomes take n minus 1 equals a half n, 4n take n is 3n, then 2 minus minus 1 is 3, equals, then take 3 out as a factor, 3 over 2, n, n plus 1. Almost there. So, therefore, the sum that we're trying to find equals our r cubed, our r cubed sum that we got in the previous part. So let's copy that. Let's take this here and just copy it. Pop that there. Take two lots of what we just found. So two lots of 3 over 2 n, n plus 1. 
and notice that the 2 cancels with a divide by 2. So now, let's look for common factors. Well, they've both got a 3 on the outside. There's a 3 there and a 3 there equals 3. They've both got an n and an n plus 1. So let's take that out. And we've got a quarter. That gives us three quarters. And n brings it up with n squared. And the 5n plus 1 there. So let's just double check that. So 3 becomes 3 quarters, yeah. n times n is n squared, yeah. n plus 1 times 5n plus 1, yeah, we've got all those there. Brilliant. Take away, and here we'll times 3n, n plus 1 by 1. Now, as we did before, let's take a quarter to the outside. So that again becomes 3 quarters. But well, that has the effect of having to times everything in this bracket now that we took the quarter out of by 4. So that first term just becomes n, 5n plus 1. Take 4. Just checking. A quarter, n, 5n plus 1, yes. And a quarter of minus 4 is minus 1. Yep, so far so good equals 3 quarters n, n plus 1, let's multiply with the brackets, so we get 5n squared plus n minus 4, and hopefully this will factorise, 3 quarters n, n plus 1, let's try and factorise it, 5n, n, So we want a positive n, so plus 1, take 4 is our factorisation. And then I notice that actually there's two n plus 1 brackets, so I can combine those. 3 quarters n, n plus 1 squared, 5n, take 4. So there we have it. I've done a more complicated summation of series question. So it's well worth looking at and spending some time on because these could be easy marks in an exam. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.